I can definitely say that one of the best things that ever happened to me was finally deciding to use daily reports as a way of life. So let me ask you a quick question. Do you have a specific criteria that you use on a day-to-day -day basis to know if you're progressing towards your goal and how much or if you're not meaning going backwards and if you don't have that sort of a daily criteria let me ask you another question how would you know if you had a good day or a bad day if it's all the same to you do you measure it based on if you felt good that day because that's not sustainable you, you <laughs> I hope you know why, <laughs> but, uh, but just to make it clear, it's not sustainable because emotions fluctuate regardless of circumstances. So do you measure it on the results you got? You know, did I, you know if you had a good day based on the results? Again, if you have any aspiration to do anything in life and become really good at it, then that's not a good way. because. Let's say that you know you want to get into uh, fitness and you want to start doing weight training or diet or something. You're not going to see results for the first week, so it's going to be a pretty hard week. <laughs> um, or let's say again that you do a business approach, or even let's say you do what I do and I just up upload five videos a day. Do you think that every single day that I do that I get massive results? Of course not, but I do get really cool results because of it. That took a bit of time. And obviously it's gonna grow exponentially the more I keep doing it, just like with any behavior. So how do you do that? How do you measure how you did that day? Well, it's quite simple. What I do is every morning and every night I have this uh, report that I call a daily report. What I, ri what I ri write down in the morning is what are my goals what are my targets for today and one quote uh, about success that kind of inspires me or you know gives me a lot of motivation so um, first things first uh, what are my goals I simply write down all of my goals like everything I want in life I just write down it's a free flow thing I don't I, you know you can every morning you can write something different I just write whatever kind of gets me pumped up and makes me feel really good you know, and it's not like I'm making this much money and that's it. It's I'm doing this and this and this and this and this and this. So, you know, I have an amazing family life. I have incredible girlfriend. I'm making this much money. I'm this famous. I have this many views on YouTube. I'm traveling the world. I'm helping poor people. You know, so many things, you know, and, and a lot more. Like the list is much bigger. Uh, then I write down again my targets uh, for specific things that I need to do today. Uh, for example, I wrote recently an auto, sort of a memoir slash autobiography um, in Hebrew a couple of months ago. So the target is to translate it to uh, English today or at least begin. That These are just things that are specific to this day. Now, uh, okay, I'm gonna sit down. Okay, um, now the third thing is the quote. So I write down a success quote, something that really is, relates to me. If I'm having a bad day, I'll find a quote from, by somebody who's successful that relates to dealing with that. Or if I'm in the mood of thinking about consistency, I'll write down a quote about consistency. Just, you know, kind of, it gives you a very good um, uh, kind of a very strong knowledge base where you get these cool sentences that really successful people said and you provide context for them. You don't just think about them, you think about them in the right day, in the right time. Now, what comes after that is my list of daily uh, activities, the things that I need to do every single day. Now, these are my habits. Uh, so what, what you'll find there, for example, is um, to uh, upload an Instagram quote, to upload five videos a day, to 
uh, take a cold shower, to have an amazing workout, um, you know, to add 250 people on Instagram, uh, to have a coaching session, coaching call with somebody, no matter what, to keep, you know, to, to kind of stay uh, sharp. So basically, this list is my life. And when I complete the list, I know I, I've done well for that day. I know I did what I, sh what I had to do. So obviously things change every day, different things happen, stuff like that, but it doesn't matter because I have my constant and that's the list. I know that if I finish the list, everything else is a bonus because this, these are the things that I'm basically, through disciplines, I'm forcing consistent massive action on. And that's where the massive results actually come. Now, before the day ends, um, I, write, I write down my successes for the day, what I did really well. And then the second thing I write, I write down is my epiphanies and things I realized about myself uh, today. And finally, I write, I write my goals down again. Um, the reason for that is because you want to write your goals in morning when you wake up and every night before, get, before bed. Uh, somebody asked uh, Grant Cardone why does he recommend also doing that and he says look I write my goals down twice every single day um, who do you think has a higher potential of being successful or achieving his goals the guy who writes his goals down one year or the guy who writes his goals down 730 times every year pretty simple math um, it helps you keep your focus on the goal it helps you subconsciously start moving towards it. Uh, some goals you might even write down for months or years before a clear path to making them happen actually presents itself. But, you know, did it present itself just randomly or did it present itself because subconsciously, again, you're reinforcing looking for that path. So the daily report I do it every single day, no matter what, and that's my life. Like that's everything I am is in that daily report. And the reason for that is because it gives me the consistency. It gives me a constant source, some pl something that I can um, that er, that remains, no matter what my mood is, no matter what I think, it remains. And I have a discipline to never ever touch my daily habits or make changes to them uh, out of a whim you know out of a good mood or out of a bad mood the only situation where I'm allowing myself to change my daily habits is as a strategic decision with myself if something is uh, doesn't work if it needs to be changed if I need to add something and really like I just that's all I do <laughs> and, and, and I know it's gonna sound kind of um, kind of funny but that's really all I do I just have a list of daily goals I just do them every day and I don't go to sleep be before I do them and that's it like that's my life and so you think you know oh so he's not that different from me you know he's being successful but he's not that different but the thing is that is the difference you know my ability to be consistent to have that discipline that's where the difference comes from so I put in the description an example of one of my daily uh, daily uh, reports. Now I usually do them in Hebrew, so I translated it to English, and you can just use it to understand sort of where I come from, how I do and what I do. And if you have any questions, if you need help, by the way, making your own daily reports, uh, feel free to message me contact me I do 15 minute 20 minute free Skype so Skype calls I'd love to help you because this is the shit that changed my life the most so um, I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you got a lot of value out of it um, if you have any questions I'd love to hear and uh, please leave a like and uh, subscribe thank you